In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can insert pictures into PowerPoint with the native insert online pictures function right here in PowerPoint. What's great about it that you will have the proper licensing to use the pictures. Let's go into the tutorial. If you have no time to search for external pictures and unique pictures from the web, you can go to insert and use the online pictures function built in right here in PowerPoint. The pictures will not be of perfect quality, but there is a variety of pictures around the web which people allow you to use. It will be powered by the Bing search, of course, but because this is Microsoft and you have some categories here, but you can, of course, write anything you want. For example, if you write car, you will have a variety of photos. Let's maybe go for something more difficult like teal car. Even with those niche keywords, you can find plenty of photographs. Personally, what you need to keep in mind that you need to click on those little icons here and you need to check the quality of the picture. For example, this is a superior quality picture, a great resolution, but plenty of those pictures here are very low quality because those are free pictures to use. Okay, this one looks really cool. Let's say that I would use that in my presentation. Not only am I getting a high quality photograph, but PowerPoint automatically adds credit to the, to the photograph. How does this look? This photo, and there is a link, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how the author is named, you don't know if, if it's Simon the Sorcerer or someone else, but the most important thing here is the link. So this photograph is properly credited. Also, the license is listed here. You can stay with the credit here or you, you can make a new slide on the end of your presentation and having such a picture, you are completely free to do with it anything you want. You can, for example, go to picture format, go to crop, crop to shape, and for example, just crop it to a circle or something else. For example, let's stay with the circle. Again, crop aspect ratio, do a square. You can move around the picture, boom, crop, and you would have a perfectly high quality picture inside of your presentation. Then of course, making a few changes to the slide, but you would get started very quickly. If you already have some pictures in your presentations and you are not sure about the credits, about um, if you are legally allowed to use this picture, you can always right click on the picture, click on change picture and here from online sources. This is a perfect way to exchange an existing picture with another picture, which you will be by accident I clicked on a cat but it doesn't matter this way you'll make sure that all licensing is okay thank you very much for your attention if you'd like to learn to more about PowerPoint with me you have of course a down below links to my online courses for now I'd appreciate a little thumbs up if this did help you thank you very much for listening and see you in other tutorials like this